Good afternoon, YouTube. Dave here. Coming up with another series here. Um, pretty much the normal routine. Look at my little chicken. <laughs> and my cat. Anyway. I might get ready to head to work. Um... I just woke up a few minutes ago. Took a. I had taken a shower this morning. <coughs> I normally don't take one in the afternoon because uh, I'm always pretty close to being late. <coughs> um. Yeah. Same usual messages on Facebook. Damn, I gotta get to work. I'm still early, but it's 5.50. Actually, I gotta be there at six. So, um, before I, let me, let me set this sucker down. Put it right here. I'll see if I can. Seatbelt going. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope the mic doesn't. I hope the camera doesn't fall. It's not completely secure there. But um, I'm trying to get out of this crowded space here. Luckily, this truck has a backup camera. There we go. So, woke up with a windy day, uh, my parents are home, luckily, well, that's a, that's a first, at least both cars are there, oh, uh, no, take off now and, um, I know that today is, uh, crap, today is, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th, I believe, no, it's Monday the 20th, is it really Monday, it is Monday, it's not Tuesday yet, if this is the thing about working nights, you seem to forget the days of the week, um, I thought today was Tuesday. Uh oh, I've got a call from my boss here. Hello? Um, take it off on the expressway. Fajitas, um, at, um, Aguilera? Oh, Junior? Okay, uh, the, the, the marinated uh, sirloin fajita? Not marinated, but the uh, sirloin fajita? Yellow lemons and regular. Yeah, those, yeah, those those yellow big ones uh, and then 
a bag of limes also then. Uh, how 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 uh, many pounds of marinated fajitas do you want? No, no, not, not marinated, but how uh, many pounds of, of sirloin of sirloin fajita do you want? Okay, so about um, shit, I don't know, about three pounds, four pounds. All right, um, I I I can pick up those little rib things. Um, I'll uh, pick up something different. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it's the boss, and um, that, that's sometimes my responsibility to make sure that uh, he's well taken care of. Um, we never have a problem with reimbursements at times. Um, I'm gonna go pick up a couple of pounds of fajitas and something else. He wants just something else, so I'll probably just pick up some ribs. Um, a bag of yellow lemons and a bag of limes also. So, so other than that, I mean, yeah, that, that'll be a good, uh, I mean, hell, I think the meat is expensive nowadays. I haven't gotten the store in the wrong time. Um, I don't know, give or take 20, 30, 40 bucks, I don't know. I have no idea, I haven't, I haven't been in the store in a long time. I haven't gone by to buy meat for him in, in a long time. Um, so, um, see what happens. Damn, I hope he doesn't ask me to stay there and cook for him. Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh, damn, I'm still sleepy. And it's my fault because as soon as I get off of work at 6 in the morning, I head on over to Gold Gym. Do a little bit of exercise on the cardio and then go downstairs and stand in the sauna for about half an hour or maybe 45 minutes get good and pink you know get yourself good and pink get out relax a little bit get into the jacuzzi relax another 15-20 minutes there then I get in the swimming pool and start doing laps I, normally I try to do at least 10 laps um after 10 laps, I get back into the sauna just to get heated up again. And this swimming pool's not warm, it's, it's a little bit cool. So you, so you come out, uh, although it's kind of warmed up by the time you're, you're exercising, but it, it's still, you feel a little bit cool when, when you get out of that pool. And um, with my metabolism, I do not want to come out of that pool and go directly home feeling cool because I'll have, I will have the shill effect because if I try to go home and go to sleep and know that I just got out of the pool without getting back into a jacuzzi or into the sauna to, to warm the body up again, if I don't do that and go directly home after getting out of the pool, I might end up getting sick because I got out of that pool and I'm still feeling cool and then it's happened before I've, I've done that and I go home and I lie down and I start getting the chills and then I'm like oh my gosh I hope I don't get sick I don't get I, I can't afford to get sick uh, well we have healthcare insurance at work but but I don't want to go through that crap I hate staying at home um if I would have loved staying at home, I would have never gotten the job and just, just in, in, uh, enjoyed, in, enjoyed my retirement. Uh, you know, no, I, I gotta be at work. I gotta be moving around. I gotta move that body around because even though I'm not in good grades, what you call, I am not, I do not have a Terminator body. Um, 
but I do try to keep myself active, you know, walk around, you know, move around, keep that body moving, keep that heart pumping, because uh, you pass away, and you ain't coming back anymore, like the way it comes out in the cartoons, you're not coming back anymore, you're gone here on earth, you're gone, there's no, there, there's no return, um, as much as I've studied religion, there is no coming back. There's no reincarnation. There's none of this crap exists here. I just made a maneuver here where I ended up turning and um, it was an illegal turn, unfortunate. Um, it's not good practice, but heck, I was a little bit late and I, and I still got to stop at Junior's and I need to get ahead of the traffic. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and log out for now because I'm gonna head on to the store. I, I would take you into the store but I'm not a professional blogger. People are gonna think I'm crazy talking into a camera. Um, professional bloggers probably do, can probably do that. They probably don't give a crap. Um, and I probably don't give a crap. I don't give a crap what they say, but and it, it's kind of hard to get used to that. Eventually I'll break that barrier and I'll start blogging every day, 24 hours a day, if it's necessary. I could give a who's ass of who is looking at me or who's laughing at me. Um, but for now, I'm I'm gonna turn off the camera for now when I come into the store. I, I just want to pick up the meat, uh, the um, the what do you say, lemon, the lemons and, and the and the limes, and head on to work. Damn, I hope he doesn't get me to cook that meat. You know, um, not being racist or anything, but white people like their meat, like kind of like medium rare. And I'm not the medium rare type of guy. I like to cook my meat well done with a little bit juicy. Um, and he, 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 he's a white dude, and he don't he don't like the meat the way I cook it. So. Um, just hope he doesn't tell me to cook it for him. And, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Not not the way he likes it. But, um, I'm gonna log out for now. If I can find some parking, my gosh. I can't even find a decent parking. But that's, that's the way it is with all these shopping centers. You, you, you never find decent places to park. Even though I just found one. It's a little bit walk walk away to the store, but hey, I need the extra track, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna log out for now. Y'all have a good afternoon. And I'll be back in about another half hour, so it's what's gonna take me to gather all these ingredients. So Y'all have a good one. All right, as I figured, it take about half an hour or so. Um, I call up the boss and and ask him, "Hey, uh, sir, how um, what else do you need? I picked up all the stuff you needed. Well, <laughs> give or take, I still needed another nine more items to pick up: uh, pick up charcoal, pick up charcoal lighter, pick up uh, 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 those." Tostito type of things, uh, pick up the gallo, uh, cheese dip, uh, what else? Uh, about nine or ten different items more. Well, what I would have expected that would, would have been like 50 some dollars uh, came out to actually about 80 dollars. No big deal. He'll reimburse me. It's, there's never been a problem with that. And for some reason or another, he can't re reimburse me right there and then. Um, 
Do you normally? I'll either submit it to the office and I get reimbursed by the end of the week. But normally he does. If it if it doesn't take a day, it might take two days, but he'll reimburse me. He He's a very busy guy. He's a he's in charge of a very large warehouse. Especially right now that we have a watermelon season going on. So he's got a lot of things up in mind. Um, he wants to relax and have a good time with his friends. Nothing wrong with that. Um, damn, I should have bought something to drink. So something like water. I'm gonna stay away from sugar. Yesterday, not yesterday, actually, this morning, as soon as I left the gym, I did something very, very bad. Very, very bad to myself. Um, I went over to IHOP thinking, oh, I'm just gonna get a cup of coffee. Normally, I'm, I'm not supposed to drink coffee, but uh, why not? And you get a cup of coffee. The menu came around and I was like, oh my gosh, these plates are wonderful. Two eggs with bacon. And I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's just a normal breakfast. Why not? Yeah, but it also came with pancakes. And oh my gosh. I've been trying to avoid eating sugar. The doctors have told me, my relatives have told me, hey, get rid of this big stomach that I got. Stop eating sugar. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't eat sugar, but once in a while, like yesterday, you know, um, I went to Dollar General and I just couldn't help that these little suckers cost a dollar each. It's like, this is tempting. You know, peanut butter, pe pe peanut butter cups don't, don't cost a dollar. So, lo and behold, even Dollar General is cutting down on the sugar because they, they sold their little bitty, bitty, bitty cup of, of peanut butter cups. I remember, I still remember six months back, I used to eat a regular peanut butter cup. Now they've, it's either inflation or the cost of living or I don't know what it is anymore but it's becoming in such a small peanut butter cup and that's why it costs a dollar I figured you know what something wrong here why would a big package like that cost a dollar well yeah they package it in big packages they, they make you think like oh there's an ordinary peanut butter cup in there but there really isn't it's just a it's what a normal peanut butter cup would have been. Now it's like half, half of it. Half of it is gone. The rest is all packaging. Like if it doesn't cost them anything to package it, make make a bigger package, smaller, smaller piece of uh, of sugar on it. Anyway, I gotta stay away from that stuff. Uh, I I really felt bad when I got out of there. Uh, Luckily, up to now, I've checked my blood sugars. I am not diabetic. Um, my older brother became a diabetic. My father was a diabetic. And I am a good candidate to be a diabetic, but for the grace of God, I have not been able to catch that diabetes stuff. And man, that stuff is, it's saddening. It's saddening because I actually got to see my dad die um, not indirectly because of diabetes but because diabetes started to affect his eyesight um, he started having problems with his heart um, I was there I was there in his deathbed when he when he passed away I'm one of the lucky ones actually my whole family was there but I was closest to my dad, so I stayed there. Even though he had already died, I still held his hand. I told him that I loved him very much. And, uh, I, I still miss him. He's, 
and uh, been gone about 13, 14 years already, but I, I still miss him because um, he shouldn't have never left. It was too early for him to leave. I still had things to ask him and things to do with him. And um, it's all because of that damn diabetes crap. But uh, anyways, yeah, I need to just get that sugar level down. My bosses, they're, the boss drinks beer and drinks alcohol. The boss's son drinks alcohol, and yet they always maintain their sin, themselves real thin. And I try to follow their example. Of course, I don't want to. I don't want to drink alcohol, but I try to follow their example of what they eat and what they do. Well, you know what? I've gone out with the boss, and he's ordered water burgers just the same as I was, and his was even bigger, had more meat, had more things in there. He, he then naturally out of his personal. Uh, preference, he would take the tomato and the and, and the lettuce out and just just eat the eat the burger. And at and at and, and at those very times, um, he would he would even take the bread out. He would take the bun out and just eat the patties, which is good because I'm told you're not even supposed to eat bread anyways. Uh, bread is also in the list of uh, things that you're not supposed to eat. Well, lo and behold, I love my water burger. I don't like to fry it very well. Uh, I usually, uh, excuse me, I usually switch it over for onion rings. Onion rings taste better. Um, damn, the traffic is bad here. But <laughs> when you when you water side that water burger, I mean, I'll eat the bread. It, it's just two buns. How much can it affect me? You know, I, I usually add extra mustard. Uh, it's usually a Whataburger number two with grilled jalapenos inside, extra mustard, and then I tell them to cut it in half. Because it's a big burger anyway. You can't just eat it like that. You gotta cut it in half, you can be able to eat it more. More uh, graciously, more slower. And here comes that dreaded water size crap. And like, what kind of drink? It's like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll just drink one Coke. And they they serve you that big ass cup, you know. It's, I mean, look at it. I mean, look at that cup. That's a big ass cup right there. Um. So I order the Coke, but then the bus's son is with me. He orders water. I'm like, wait a minute, I got water in the back, man. So hey. I got water in my bag. He said, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll just get the water from here from water. Okay. So I figured they eat their hamburger with water. Uh, and water is good. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. When I'm thirsty, I'm, <laughs> hey, I would prefer water than, than uh, drinking a Coke. But then again, by drinking a Coke, it's got so much sugar in it, is that it will... Uh, Oh, now I know why there's a lot of traffic. There's a big tractor in front driving driving very slow. Um, anyway, you drink that Coke, it's got so much sugar in it that it makes you bloat, it makes your stomach bloat. So th that's why when I eat my hamburger and I eat the onion rings and I start drinking the Coke, I feel full. I feel full, but what sugar does, it has something in the chemical mixture of sugar that makes you want to eat again. It makes you feel, man, I didn't have enough food with that hamburger. It makes you want to go out there and buy another hamburger. But it, it, it's not that your body's not hungry. Your, your body was satisfied with that hunger, with, with, that, with that hamburger. It's the, it's the sugar that's in the body that's making your mind think that you're hungry again. So the sugar, even though as good as it tastes, it's actually messing up your your eating habits. It makes you want to go eat again. It makes it it tastes it tells your body, hey, you're still hungry and you need to eat. 
that's pretty much it right there. That's why you need to stay away from the sugar. Once you start start staying away from the sugar, you'll notice that your stomach fat will actually start going down quicker because the body is so used to eating more than it's supposed to that when it senses that you're not putting any more food in there, <coughs> guess what happens? It starts to eat away from the fat because the body requires energy all the time. Energy for you to move your fingers, your arms, you move your head around, to think. It requires energy. <coughs> so where, where is it going to grab the energy? Well, it's going to grab the energy from the fat of your stomach. It's going to start to slowly carve away that fat from your stomach. So eventually you start getting used to just eating maybe just one hamburger, try to, try to stay away from the bun, just eat the just eat the patty, uh, eat the vegetables. Just start eating that with water. So you can not have any type of sugar in, in your system. And that stomach will go down. But that's the hard part about it. I love Coke so much that you can't do that. I, I've tried doing that. It's just not, not possible anyway. Um, we're we're going to skip this conversation for now. I'm coming up to to my workplace, which is a, at the ranch, at the farm. Um, as soon as I punch in the code, I'll open up the gates, the security gates, I'm going to go and log off. The boss's son doesn't like for me to be vlogging um, in front of him. He doesn't care if I vlog all night long. As long as it's not done in front of him. Which is fine. Everybody has their own preference. Um, right now we got cotton growing. And on this side we got watermelon growing. See if I can put it on this side. We got watermelon growing on this side. Um, we are coming up to the rest now. On this side we also have more watermelon. As soon as we cross this lake... A little rabbit. A lot of rabbits here. So as we cross this lake here, we got a field of more um, watermelons. They should be ready to start getting picked up within another week or so if we're lucky enough to get, have any rain. And we're going to come up to the entrance here. And I'm going to need to punch in my code to get into the security gate it's a windy day I was thinking of flying my